Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. We're doing one of these every single day in the month of June. Uh, so I hope that you have been enjoying them. And what I want to do today is just kind of look at uh, one of the uh, types of color grades I put on my images. A lot of people uh, contact me about my color grades and they want to learn more about it. Uh, so what I wanted to do is just kind of explain uh, one of my images, this image right here, and how I got to this specific color grade. So as you can see right here on my layers panel, I've got uh, multiple layers going here. I've got this first color grade here, then I've got some orange colors, and then I've got some glows, and then I've got another color grade. So you can see, you can see there's a lot of a uh, lot of layers here, a lot going on. But let me try to unpack them the best that I can in just a couple minutes and show you uh, what's going on. So I'm going to unselect uh, all of my color grade options here, and we're kind of kind of start where um, kind of start at the beginning here. So here's what we have. Um, Here's, here's kind of the, the basic. So I've already done all of the Photoshop. I've cut the tree out. I've put uh, my daughter in here in the picture. And uh, so everything looks good as far as uh, the editing, uh, but it's kind of bland. It's not very interesting. And this is when I start to do uh, the final touches on the image and do all the color grading. So first thing I did um, after the background is done, after everything's done, uh, I start off with this color grade. The first thing I do, now I don't do this with every single image, but this is how I did it on this, this approach. I wanted everything to have like a, a duotone look. I wanted it to have like one main color. So I did a gradient map of this orange uh, and red and changed it to hue. And now everything in the scene only has that one hue, that orange hue. Uh, that's the very first thing I did. And now I'm gonna start adjusting colors based on this. Um, so everything is orange right now because I have a gradient map um, with the blend mode of hue. Then I went and did a selective color and I went to a selective color and I went to my uh, neutrals and I added a lot more cool colors like cyans and uh, taking out the yellows and the blacks. I also added some more cyans. So you can see um, I still have that original orange image, but now we're adding blues into the darker parts of the image. Then I worked on the exposure. I just made these blacks a lot darker. So I did an exposure um, adjustment layer, made the, the blacks a little bit stronger, just to add in a little bit more contrast. That's really all I was doing there. And then I did a levels adjustment. And uh, essentially what I did there, you can see my mask. Uh, I've got a mask on here. Uh, I've pretty much made the entire scene darker with the exception of right here at the uh, where the girl is at and where the tree is at. So uh, everything is darker with the exception right here in the center of the image. So that's my very first color grade. So this is where we're at right now. And you may like the image like this. I, I don't know. Maybe you, you think that this color grade is, is sufficient. Uh, that's before and after. But I wanted to keep going. Uh, so then I, I used several layers and I just kind of painted some orange on top of um, uh, my daughter here. So I've just got some bright orange glows and they're all coming like off of her dress and like right in the center of this, the uh, the picture. And they're all kind of radiating out. And so that's what I did. Uh, I've got several layers where I just painted orange and did different blend modes like overlay and screen and stuff like that. And then after I did that, uh, I jumped up here and worked on another color grade. So I've got four more color grades I'm going to do. Uh, and then after that color grade is done, I'm going to go back and work on the, the glows. But here's my secondary color grade. And I like to do these in, in, uh, in sequences. Like I do a first color grade and then work a little bit more and then do another color grade. Uh, so here's the first one I did. And the second one, I made it darker. So we made it darker again. Everything is darker. This is throughout the entire scene. Everything is much darker. And then I did a selective color. Um, and essentially what I did here is I made sure that the blacks weren't completely black. So I, I went to my selective color, made the blacks a little bit less uh, powerful, and uh, also added some more blues to the background uh, and to the neutrals and stuff like that. So we still have that more bluish color going off in the, um, like a vignette sort of, sort of, but, uh, everything in the background is more blue, but the center part of the image still has those warm tones. Then I did a gradient map, uh, with the, the, uh, blend mode of exclusion. I don't use this one very often, but this one is exclusion and the gradient map is blue. And so anytime you do an exclusion, 
uh, map with blue, essentially what it's going to do is it's going to make your highlights nice and red and orange and warm colors. And so that's what I did here. I've got an exclusion map, a gradient map with exclusion for the blend mode. And this is the before and after on there. It kind of tones the contrast down a little bit, but it also brings out the warms uh, colors in the highlights and, and cool colors in the shadows. Then I did an exposure for more contrast. You can see that's just a lot of contrast there. Um, so I increased my exposure, I increased my offset, and I increased my gamma correction, but I could have probably done the exact same thing with a brightness and um, contrast adjustment layer, but I really just wanted to uh, take all of this uh, low contrast image, give it more, uh, more contrast and more detail. Now, once I've got that, I've already done color grade one, I've done my orange glows here, and then I've done my color grade two. Then I did another a group underneath the color grade, and these are my glows. So this is where I actually make the group into the color dodge blend mode, and then I start painting. So you can see all the places I painted, like on these trees, on the stump, on the dress. You know, the, these. this is where I like to use the paintbrush and just paint all of these different glows. And so this is my final project, and uh, this is what it looks like at the very end. That is one way I like to color grade. You can see before, this is what we started off with, and this is after, and that's a very significant uh, change. And something I like to do also is, uh, since I have so many of these layers, sometimes I just like to turn them off and on and, and see like, well, maybe this one looks good, or maybe it doesn't, maybe it looks better without the orange glow, or maybe it looks better without this color grade, you know? And so I, I turn them off and on and just kind of see what looks good. Uh, so it's kind of like a trial and error uh, strategy I have sometimes, but this is, uh, this is a very common way that I like to do color grades in Photoshop. I uh, encourage you to, to you, know, you know, try your own uh, techniques, try your own strategy, but this is, uh, this is my strategy for color grading this specific image, but also other images like it. Guys, that's all I've got for today. Hope that you enjoyed this uh, quick little uh, tutorial in Photoshop on how to color grade your images, and I uh, hope that you're enjoying this tutorial series. We've only got a few more left in the month of June, so uh, I hope to see you again tomorrow morning for the next video, and uh, good luck creating, and I uh, can't wait to see what you guys can create. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good one.